Assalamu alaikum guys, my name is Mustafa and today I'm here with another video in the same video. So, so today, as today I want to, uh, I would like to uh, continue the story because today is Friday and I have another topic. For, so now the topic today is concentration but before that, maybe concentration that topic I can uh, continue in another video. So this video maybe um, I, I, want to, I want to finish the story at first because last time i was i was i stopped in in the when they went to the king yes therefore that's the prophet ibrahim salam. okay and here I start from now a long long time ago prophet ibrahim salam called people back to allah and there there was no one was listening to him except for one lady and one gentleman so the man was prophet Lut, salam and the lady uh, she named Sarah she was a good, good Muslim and now um, before he, he decided to uh, travel a lot their long journey they started their long journey so um, another journey because there there was no one was listening to Allah it was full of disbeliever everything and I want you to understand this be serious you, you, you are able to understand. If you are not serious, you may not understand the story. And one thing important is you have to concentrate because people have been wondering, uh, is the last lesson, uh, I can't, they are so tired. They say, oh, school is not important. That's just play. This is not an important thing, what he's telling you, the teacher. People have been thinking about that. But it's so important. The only thing that you need is you have to be serious. That's the only thing that you need. And now let's start now. Prophet Ibrahim, before he left, he asked his dad to join him, but his dad refused. So then he started their long journey. They travel uh, through the desert, and during that time, as you know, there was no any cars. They couldn't drive any cars. There wasn't any technologies. And that time, you you, you have to um, ride a camel uh, from uh, in the desert. As you know, they walked um, days and days, days, so many days, as like one year, as like one month. It feels like as like one month. And they travel so many days, days, days. And then they travel through um, between Syria and Egypt to call people back to Allah. While they were traveling, a king saw that this beautiful lady. So he, he wants to um, to take her and he can kill something. He could do something bad to, to that lady. So then Prophet Ibrahim uh, went to, to the king and the king asked him, Who is this lady? He lied because now there's a reason why he lied. Prophet Ibrahim Alisa, because um, he realized that if he could tell the truth, he, he, he would take that lady and he, to take her and kill something bad he could do. So that's why now, instead of telling his wife, he told she is my sister. So then he called his wife, and then he said, the king wants to meet you. I've never told you that you are my wife. I've told you that you are my sister. Okay, then she went to the lady, she went to the king, the king, he saw this beauty lady. Mm. <laughs> he couldn't move his hands. He wanted to take her, but his he, he hand has stopped. He couldn't move. Then he said, please pray to God for me. I'll never harm you again. And she prayed to God. Mm. Then his hands, he was trying also to, uh, to take her. <laughs> <laughs> he did this so many times. After that, um, perhaps he he gave him a gift as uh, it was a lady, an Egyptian lady. Uh, she his name was Haja. So Sarah so she couldn't give any birth. Just she couldn't. He, uh, so she decided. Uh, Prophet Ibrahim married Haja because uh, Sarah grew old. She couldn't give birth to someone. So then, um, after a few days, 
um, Hajar give birth to a boy, and the, this this name is Ismail. So um, he traveled with his wife and his son, and to the desert. He left with the in, in the desert, but he shouldn't live in the desert, because Allah ordered him to leave his son and his wife. That's the reason why he left his son. He he he, he left from he and he and took to them to the desert somewhere. Then they left. He left, and that one now he was so sad because of he, he left his son and his wife. And during uh, this was had happened now. Um, uh, Hajar his wife because uh, the baby started by crying right now, so they they couldn't have any water because. She was in desert. As you know, the desert is there is no any water. She she ran away from the mountain as Safa, a mountain a Marwa, with several times, so many times. I don't know how many times it was. But this was the miracle happened now. An angel um brought here water here uh, at the floor, and this water now was called as Zamzam. So she drank that water. And some of the people were traveling Mecca, and they saw uh, the lady was she was drinking the water, so uh, so they asked her, uh, "Can we drink this water?" She replied, "Okay, no, uh, uh, um, it's fine." She allowed them to drink. They drink, they drank that water. And now, uh, when Ismail he grew up. He, uh, he learned from Arab Arabic from his people who lived in Almawa Mountain. He was a good boy, and, and during that time, Prophet Ibrahim Salam was so sad because he didn't see his son for many days. So then he decided to travel to Mecca. Do, 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 do. Days, 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 so many days. Maybe uh, thirty days. It feels like uh, one month that he was traveling. Then uh, someone told him, "Your wife has that has dead." Then uh, he he was so sad, and they say, "Your son is he's still alive." And this he was so happy to, to hear this. So he saw his son, and Prophet Ismail he was so happy to see his dad, and then he hugged him so much. And this was a dream of Prophet Ibrahim in, the, in his dream was uh, he, he have to sacrifice his son. And this not a, uh, this uh, Allah has ordered him to to sacrifice his son. He was taking a test, but he didn't he didn't slaughter his son. So then he said uh, to his son, um, Allah ordered you to. Uh, uh, to slaughter, to sacrifice, to slaughter you. Then he said, "Okay, do what your Lord has ordered you to do it." Okay, it's fine. Okay, then he took him to the mountain, uh, mountain Arafa. Then he he, he slept. He, he made his what his knife so sharp as he could slaughter. But before you slaughter, Allah uh, sent the sheep from the sky instead of sacrificing his son. So he sacrificed and uh, the sheep instead of his son. So he was so happy because his son uh, will be alive. Okay? And slaughtered him. Then and they made a big celebration. They celebrated together. And there was, uh, he was calling uh, people to worship Allah, but there was no any location where they used to worship Allah. Then Allah ordered him to build the, a house. And this, uh, it has a name which is known as the Kaaba. So he told his son, uh, Allah ordered me to to, to build the Kaaba. Then he said, Okay, do what your Lord has ordered you to do it. Because that you you have to do what your Lord has ordered you to do. So he asked him, Could you help me? Then uh, then he replied, Okay, it's fine. I'll help you. So he helped him. To and uh, to bring the stones, while Prophet Ibrahim was building. Then, uh, when they completed, one stone was remaining. One stone has remained. So he told his son, 
And can you bring the uh, stone? Ismail alayhi salam said, I'm so tired. So he insisted him the stone. So while he has gone, an angel Jibril brought um, the stone. This is the, uh, the black stone now, uh, which was uh, which was uh, which was brought from the paradise by Prophet Adam alayhi salam. So then he told him that this pride, uh, this the angel thought this uh, stone was brought from the paradise. Uh, before of literally it was white but because the sin was committed by the people it it turned to black now so when ismail uh, came back they said who has brought this stone so then he said it's someone that no one has been getting tired okay they finished by building the kaaba then they prayed to allah for their helping allah was so happy with uh, Prophet Ibrahim السلام, and his son. Then um, people uh, perform the needs now, which has been um, Mecca, uh, no, I mean uh, Hajj and Umrah. So that is the end of the story. So make sure, uh, thumbs up and make sure subscribe. See you guys in the next episode. And the next uh, lesson in the video, it's talking about, about the topic, uh, which is now I said, uh, concentration because it is so important in the school um, because people been wondering uh, it's not important they can be tired so I will discuss that one uh, another uh, in, in the next video uh, thumb, uh, make sure to subscribe oh, okay have a good day mm,